Hello class, welcome to week six. I had to think for a second where we were. <laughs> um, great job on your shorts. I've just finished grading those and posting comments back. Um, you guys are doing a great job incorporating historical details and historical fact into your scenes. You also are doing a great job about writing scenes and not full stories. So good work on that. Um, this week, um, you have two posts due today. Um, one is kind of checking in, kind of seeing how the semester is going. The other one is on the next chapter in the historical fiction textbook. This Sunday, we're going to be talking about the first half of people of the book. So make sure that you read the first half of that. And I believe uh, the first half is pages 1 through 193. Um, it is specified on um, the weekly tab, just in case I'm not correct on the page 193, but I'm pretty sure I am. Um, and then next Sunday, so a week from the Sunday, we'll be discussing the other half of the book. So you have basically two weeks to read the book. You don't have to rush through the whole thing. Um, You'll also notice that uh, this last week, this this last Sunday's uh, short post was uh, the last short you'll be doing for three weeks. Now, some of you might think that spring break has something to do with that, and it does. But um, another reason is because you're going to be critiquing each other's stories soon. Um, so the way it works is that I'm going to be assigning everybody into two groups. We're going to have group A and group B. And what's going to happen is group A will only read group A's stories and group B will only read group B's stories. So you don't have to read the whole class of stories. You're only reading, you know, like six or so, depending on how many people are in your group. So um, those are going to be announced next week. Not this week, but next week. I just wanted to give you a heads up that that was going to be happening. Um, so you, you know, you can kind of take a break from the creative writing for a bit. Although I do recommend that you still ha keep a creative writing practice and still work on some exercises and kind of, you know, keep your feet wet as far as that goes. Um, the historical fiction textbook we're going to continue to discuss, and then, um, and then of course, people of the book. So. All right, keep up the good work, everyone. Um, we have a very reading-focused week this week and next week, um, and then we're going to be getting back into the shorts about week, I think it's week nine is when we get back. Okay, well, keep up the good work, and if you have any questions, uh, be sure to send me an email. I almost forgot, uh, Literary Southwest is tonight, so um, it's at 7 o'clock at the library on the Prescott campus. It's in Building 19, so when you first walk into the building from the south parking lot, uh, the library part is on the left, the cafe is on the left, and the community room is on the right, and it's a glass room. I'll be there, of course, so... Uh, you know, find me, come say hi. Uh, for those of you who cannot attend, uh, there are two YouTube videos that are posted on an alternate assignment handout that's located in several places. So um, be sure to do that. For all of you, the assignment, the written part of the assignment is due on Blackboard Monday at noon. So you can, you know, if you attend the event tonight, you can finish that up, email it, have it gone. Don't have to worry about it again. All right, I'll talk to you all later and send me an email if you have questions on anything. All right, bye.